mental health check-in during this wonderful quarantine. Mm -hmm. I kid you not, guys. It is 2 o'clock in the morning. So why not do a video? I mean, I'm already up. My sleep and cycle has gotten completely out of whack like the last couple of days, like maybe last week or so. So I'm taking this time to go ahead and make another video for you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. I am in a little bit of a funk. For those of you who are new to my channel, I have stated before that as a teenager, I was diagnosed with manic depression, which for those of you who do not know, manic depression is the fancy sugar-coated way of saying bipolar. And all these years later, I'm still learning new ways to cope. I'm still having to adjust to it. So the last couple of days I've been doing like early morning workouts and like meditation and stuff because I mean, I ain't got shit else to do. I've been doing my spring cleaning and I've been throwing away like a lot of stuff. So I've come to the conclusion. I think I may be an emotional hoarder, if that's a thing. I don't know. I have to look it up and do some research on it. But I think it comes from... I don't know. Maybe it's a con maybe it's a control thing. Maybe it's a um something with like having an issue of letting go of things or something. Cuz I mean, when you think about it, growing up, there's all kinds of emotions with like um losing people or you know, moving around a lot or uh you know, having possessions that are, you know, taken from you or stolen or vandalized, whatever. And so, and now, first of all, I am not materialistic at all. Everyone who knows me know I will gladly go to Dollar Tree and stuff to get my things. But I'm definitely one of those people where I'm like, oh, I can do a project with this. So I'm going to keep this or, oh, that might come in handy one day. So I'm, I'm going to have that. And 38 years later, I still haven't fucking touched this shit. Whatever. Anyways, my point is, I think it's. It's not so much the object, the reason why I've kept things so long. I think it's, I think it's maybe being able to have something stay constant in my life. I know that sounds crazy, but hear me out. Having an object, whether it's in use or not, having an object that it doesn't go anywhere. Like I said, it's, it's like an emotional attachment because, you know, the inconsistency of people who have gone, you know, in and out of my life or different things that I've had that have been, you know, stolen or lost or ruined, whatever, keeping a whole, it's like, okay, so say I have this pencil and I have no paper, but I'm going to keep this pencil even though I don't have paper because at least I have the pencil. I'm not sure where I was going with that. Bad example. Anyways, it's not the object per se. I think it's having something that's you know it's not going anywhere or maybe it's the fact that you can control whether or not that object stays in your life or is thrown out so I was doing spring cleaning and you know I was throwing out things that you know I've been saying for the longest oh, I'm going to do a project with this so oh, oh this might come in handy one day and I, I was literally I had a breakthrough I was literally at one point just like fuck it fuck it fuck it Fuck it. I was just chunking shit out. Um, and big trash day is coming up. So, I mean, some of the things are like things that, you know, someone else could use, like the little closet hang up organizers, which I have other stuff now. So I don't really and like my closet now is like a walkthrough. So I have like shelving and stuff in there. So I don't really need like the closet hang up organizers anymore. And my kids have like the bins and stuff in their room, so they don't need it either. So I was like, okay, well, I can chunk that. So, you know, just going through like that and, you know, instead of saying, you know, oh, well, I plan on moving in, you know, X amount of time and I can use this when I go to the next house. I've, I've literally just been like, you know what, forget it. Someone else could use it for now or just, you know, whatever, just throw it away. And then if I need it again in the future, 
then I can buy it in the future. And I think another reason is I'm a really frugal person. I try so hard to hold on to my money. (laughs) So sometimes it's irritating, you know, if I've bought something multiple times and the re- and I know the reason that I don't have to buy it again is because it got lost or it got stolen or it got ruined or I got rid of it and then boom, now I need it again. And that's another reason why I hold on to things so long. Because I kid you not, every single time, th- this is how you can predict when I'm going to get pregnant. Every single time I've been like, oh, well, mm, I'm not having kids. I'm, I'm not pregnant. So I'm just going to get rid of this, you know. All this baby stuff, I kid you not, within a couple of weeks, a month or so, I'm taking a pregnancy test and it's positive. Kid you not, every single time, every single kid, I've sat there and I've got rid of a whole bunch of baby stuff and then boom. Hey, you know that swing I gave to you? Yeah, I'm going to need that back. (laughs) So, I've come to the conclusion that... That's why. That's another reason why I keep things so that I don't have to go back and get it later on. But I'm to the point now where I'm just like, fuck it. If I need to get it again, I'll get it again. It's it's not that big of a deal. But I do think that emotionally, even though the items aren't really like fancy and highly materialistic, it's the it's it's a material period, and so I cling on to it. And I keep it around out of control, I guess. I'm able to control the fact that that item hasn't gone anywhere. I'm able to control. It's something that's stayed in my life. Hmm. So yeah, I have that uh, little mental breakthrough. And I'm going to finish up my spring cleaning and just chunk a whole bunch of shit. As you can see, I have, if you're wondering about all of that, I told you guys I'm, I'm starting gardening. My onions have sprouted. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel and just an update for those of you who are here, I posted a video the other day of me uh, regrowing vegetables from stuff I already have in the house. So instead of like going out and buying seeds and stuff, you just like take uh, food that you have on hand and you like use the stump or something uh, to regrow it. And one of the things that I was regrowing is my onions and they've sprouted. My onions have sprouted. So I'm going to go get some soil tomorrow. My onions are ready for me to grow don't know if you heard me whisper just then. I said my onions are ready for me to grow them. I don't know why I had my eyes closed just then. I said my onions are ready for me to grow them. I hope I didn't put that in an angle to where you could like look up my nose. Oh, well, I'm not saying it again. Shit. So yeah, I've been up in the wee hours of the day. I kid you not. I was up at four o'clock uh, day before yesterday. Or well, it's two o'clock now. So day before, day before yesterday because it's a new day now so yeah so day before day before yesterday i think whatever i was up at like four o'clock in the morning uh exercising and then at five o'clock in the morning i was meditating Uh, yeah and i mentioned before in one of my previous videos that uh one of the ways that i cope with my manic depression is I have like quotes of the day and daily affirmations that I do. And for good, oh God, I'm not going to lie. It's It's been like a month and a half or so that I stopped doing it. Like I said, I was in a funk. But I started back uh, doing my quote of the day and my daily affirmations. My quote of the day is, it is okay to be a beginner. Nobody starts out perfect. Ha. Huh. So I'm literally just going to be walking around all day today. I'm a beginner. I'm a beginner. I'm a beginner. I'm a beginner. The kids are going to get tired of me saying that shit. I'm a beginner! But I'm not, I'm not even really mad that my sleep cycle is off. 
I mean, first of all, I've never really slept through the night anyways. I've always had sleep problems. So, I mean, even if I'm in the bed, I'll like wake up multiple times and I'll like toss and turn and stuff. And I've been paying attention to my dreams a lot uh, more lately. Like I have like a little dream journal where I'll like write down the different things that are in my dreams. I'm not going to tell you guys what's going on yet, but there's literally a pattern <laughs> of things like even if like the theme and my dreams are like different uh there's like a couple of things like here and there that like repeats and some of them aren't even relevant things some of them are like just like the craziest most randomest thing but it'll keep repeating every night just in a different form or in a if, in a different situation a different person whatever I think it's a sign. So yeah, I'm, I'm paying attention to that more so I can crack the code, see what the universe is trying to tell me. Is that a pimple? What the fuck? Oh, huh, that's mo. What? what? I don't know. You guys, I know it's hard for us to stay positive during this uh, quarantine. Those of us who have uh, things going on mentally, I mean, we were already pretty much going through a lot. So I know being told, you know, you have to stay home probably isn't, you know, helping a lot of you out there. Because, I mean, we, we, we were just getting to the point where, you know, the sun was, you know, out more and the weather was, well, I mean, the weather was still all over the place of being bipolar. So I'm not even going to say that. But I know this is like the time of year where, you know, you're getting a lot of vitamin D. For those of you who aren't getting the other D, <clears throat> this is a lot of time to do some reevaluating and some deep thinking and start doing meditation. Start doing that project you wanted to do. Start doing some daily affirmations. This is the perfect time to get a lot of stuff done. Uh, this this is the perfect time for us to work on our mental. I mean, th this is the perfect time to just sit still. I mean, like right now in, at two o'clock in the morning, this is the perfect time to just sit still and focus on your inner thoughts and whatever is going on inside of you. It's the perfect time to just get shit done I don't know I feel like I'm just babbling now so yeah I'll be back uh, to finish this up I'm gonna go ahead and do day two of the Chloe Ting Ab Challenge I hope I'm saying her last name right because all the videos that I've watched of her she never pronounces her last name she never says her name the videos I've watched she hasn't pronounced her name so I'm hoping I'm saying it right anyways I'm gonna go do day two of the Chloe Ting app challenge and then I'll upload it for you guys to see like I did day one and then I'll be back and I'll also show you guys my vegetables that are sprouting i what that was it's been like two and a half days since like you can see some of them right here in the back and then i have the rest in the windows um it's been two and a half days since you know i did the whole um cutting them in half and taking stumps and stuff and putting them in water and i have sprouts vegetables are sprouting so gonna get some soil tomorrow start getting ready and prepped up uh to start planting them so i don't know just middle of the night thoughts just want to come to you guys real quick uh, with a mental health check-in because i know we're all going boinkers due to this coronavirus bullshit COVID-19 can suck my ding -a ling <laughs> yeah my jokes are even worse at 2 o'clock in the morning just in case you are wondering so I 
if you can't tell, I'm delaying going and doing this workout, but might as well. I mean, I'm, I'm up, so. So, yeah, I'm going to go do day two of the Chloe Ting app workout challenge, and then I'll do some meditation, connect to my higher self. I don't know, whatever. So I'll be back. Bye, guys. I might just drink some wine. Who knows? Mm.